What's up YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again and today we have another RDA review for you guys. This is the Druid RDA by Ogvape. So stay tuned. That's right guys, we're going from one of the most expensive RDAs I've ever owned, the Dot Mod, over to the Druid RDA by Ogvape. This one is a very affordable RDA. It retails for around $25 to $30 US. You might even be able to find it a little bit cheaper than that. It's a beautiful, authentic little device. What we're gonna do is dive down and dirty with this thing, check out what you get in the box. Then what I'll do is I'll take a little break, maybe vape on it for four or five days, just get used to it. And we'll go back up top after that with my final review and my final thoughts on this thing. So without further ado, what do you say we get down and dirty and check out the Druid RDA by Ogvape? All right guys, we are down and dirty with the Druid RDA by Ogvape. You can see the logo up there. Here it is guys, this is actually a really, really nice, affordable, authentic RDA. Here we go right here. First thing you're greeted with is the Druid user manual. Now if we open this up, you'll see a whole bunch of different components and parts. And by all means, if you wanna pause the video here, you can. Um, we'll open it up a little bit more. There it is. You also get two top caps with this, which is awesome value. The Druid RDA, like it says here, food grade 304 stainless steel. Slotted post, easy to build coils, heat proof drip tip made of stainless steel and Teflon, anti spit back design, original edition is 22 by 20 and a half millimeters with top airflow control, and the mini edition is 22 by 13 and a half millimeters for great flavor. Now the 13 and a half millimeters and the 20 and a half is measuring the height of the RDA, not the base. The base is a standard 22 millimeters. So with that being said guys, let's move that off to the side and let's dig in here. Let's start with the accessories you get. You do get some accessories which more than I can say from the Petri Dot Mod RDA just reviewed. And it's also in a very nice sealed package. Now, like I said before, I actually haven't even used this yet. The only reason I'm doing this portion of the video now is because it's still clean before I get my grubby little hands on it. But when I do, you'll see uh, a much more noticeable difference and I will start using this right away. You do have your uh, grub screws in here. You have a ton of spare O-rings. You have your Allen key tool in here as well. We'll put off that off to the side. You also have the mini edition with the airflow on the side, which is really nice. And this is the 13 and a half millimeter height that I was talking about earlier. You have a really nice drip tip on here as well. This is a universal drip tip, so it will fit on all your devices that have the standard drip tip size. So I have actually already used this drip tip on my, I think it was my TFE4 and it worked beautifully. So I do really like the drip tip on that. That's your spare top cap that you get because you do get two options with this. Moving on to here, you actually have the device itself and uh, you have the Ogvate logo right here. You have your top airflow, which is beautiful. It's going to prevent a lot of leaking out here if you're an overdripper like myself. Now you do also have this Teflon stainless steel drip tip. The only downside to it is it is a proprietary drip tip. And you can see here you do have the spitback protection, which could be good, could be bad. You also have more spitback protection in the top cap itself. And uh, we'll screw this back on and I'll show you the insides of this once I get it onto a device. All right, guys, I decided to put it on the Kisa device here just to uh, show it off a little bit more. You have this uh, barrel here as well. This is the barrel that we talked about with the airflow. You have a top cap attachment here, and this just slides in to select your airflow. It does have two O-rings to seal it in very tight and secure. Push it in, and there we go. So we have our airflow up top there, and it is a little bit hard to spin, so you, you may want to end up pulling it apart to get the airflow where you like it. If you look in the top cap itself, though, you also have further spitback protection, so you're probably not going to get any spitback from this, but I will confirm once I get a chance to really get to use this device. But again, you can see just in here all the different slots and everything to give you the airflow. And I will test out the airflow as well when we get the device fully built. Now here's the build deck here, guys. You can see here there's no post holes. There's more so post openings. And you do have the grub screws. So on the sides here, on the negative posts, the grub screws actually go in from the side. And on the positive posts, they go in from up top. It is a pretty unique design. You do have a pretty small juice well, though, and a pretty small build deck area but uh, that's gonna help you with your flavor as well, or at least it should. I'm just gonna tighten this on a little bit more. Again, looking back at this, you do have pretty good building options for this, just as long as you don't go too far outside of this build deck, which it's gonna be a little bit tough to do on some of my, the builds I've been using lately. And I'll give you an example here. I have the dot mod here, which I just put some fuse clappings in. Uh, they're actually flattened fuse clappings, if you can see them. And let's see if I can get a good close up on these. All right, let's see here. There we go. So you can see they're flattened, fused clappings, and uh, they do fit in here really nicely. And I don't know if they're gonna actually fit in here with the size of the build deck on the uh, diameter of the build deck. 
But just something to note, just in case you guys like building crazy stuff like I do, it may not be as easy as it looks. Let's talk about the rest of this little RDA here. If you look at the bottom, it has a copper pin connection, which is nice. Just down there. And uh, Druid RDA designed by Ogvape. My number is 178. And like I said, for a very affordable RDA, the packaging itself, the options, the accessories it comes with, this is actually a massive improvement from the Petri RDA that I just reviewed um, with no features. In fact, even the drip tip was sold separately. These guys went, I mean, these guys are literally a quarter of the price of the dot mod Petri RDA. In fact, even less than that if you incorporate the cost of the drip tip in it. And for a quarter of the price, you're getting two top caps, two drip tips, one proprietary, one standard size. You're also getting a copper pin connection, really nice build deck, and then a ton of accessories to go with it as well. Plus it's all packaged together very nicely. In fact, I actually like the packaging better than on this than I did on the Petri dot mod RDA. So that's actually something that you may want to take into account if you're looking for an RDA. Now, of course, all this could be moved if I don't enjoy the, the RDA itself, but I will be vaping on it quite a bit and it's gonna be interesting to see how this works out for me. So with that being said, guys, we'll go back up top. I'll take about four or five days to vape on this thing, do a couple builds in here, test it out and let you guys know what my final thoughts are. So I will see you guys soon. All right, so we are back up top with the Druid RDA by Ogvape. This, of course, is a little bit different of a traditional review because you have two top caps to compare to each other, uh, along with the actual build deck itself, which, of course, only includes one. There are some cons in the build deck. There's also some pros with the build deck. I'll get into both of those first, and then we'll talk about each top cap separately. Starting with the build deck, I did a build in here, very simple build, 7 wrap, 22 gauge canthal, works out to be about 0.19 ohms, give or take, hitting it at 97 watts, super easy to build on this thing, those post holes or the post slots I guess you'd call it, are phenomenal, they're super easy, very clean threading on it so you don't have to worry about the grub screws getting caught or anything like that, also the grub screws are flat at the bottom so you're not actually worried about breaking your canthal on the screw if you tighten it too much, but there is one big con on this, and it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's a deal breaker, but for some of you, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. For me, it wasn't, but that's just me. So the big thing with this is that the side grub screws come in horizontally, and unfortunately, the negative posts on the side of this RDA are very close to the top cap, which means if you have a build that is just a little bit too big, it will interfere with the top cap closing. Is there a solution to this? There is. And I have to give full credit to own boy Josh, which by the way, if you don't know who he is, go check him out. I'll have his I'll link to his channel in the description below. Make sure to check it out. But he did a video on this RDA as well. And he mentioned that his solution to the problem of the grub screws being too close to the sides was actually to file them down. Now I didn't have to do that with my build in here. It's a very simple build and it does fit no problem. But if you are getting into some of the more advanced builds, maybe some fuse claptons, maybe some staggered fuse claptons, anything that's just a little bit too wide, you will want to file down those grub screws just a little bit, just a hair, just to make sure it does fit with the top cap. And that works for both top caps, of course, because both of them are using the same deck and the issue is on the deck itself, not the top caps. So there's the issue with the build deck. There are a ton of pros with the build deck as I've already gone through in the actual up close section of this, but I did want to touch on that very briefly first and foremost. Now let's talk about each of these top caps individually, what their pros and cons are and what their actual use is. We're gonna start with the mini version, which is 22 millimeters, by 13 and a half millimeters in height. And this is supposed to be the flavor chaser. However, I will say this first, I actually found it had better flavor out of this larger top cap or the original top cap, which going forward, I'm gonna to refer to as the Aeolus version uh, of the top cap versus the Derringer version of the top cap. And of course they're not the same guys. There's gonna be differences between the two, but those are just the most closely related RDAs I can think of to match each of these top caps to accordingly. With the mini top cap, I will say that the airflow is excellent. You get a ton of airflow and the flavor isn't bad. It's not a flavor chaser though. I would say this is equivalent to most standard RDAs that you get. It's very close to my Twisted Messes RDA. I would even say the closest RDA I can think of as far as airflow goes in this would be the Turbo V3 without the fan, of course. If you remove the fan from the Turbo V3 and you have that nice big airflow slot, this is what this reminds me of. Very similar. Also very similar to Mutation X V3, not the V4, but the V3, in the sense that it does have that really nice airflow coming in, it's hitting the coils, and it's going to help you produce some pretty big clouds. To demonstrate, I'll take a quick hit off this one. This is the mini version on the Wismec Rouleau at 97 watts, 
And let's take a hit and look, see what it looks like. Again, tons of vapor, tons of airflow, and the flavor is definitely still there. It's not muted. I'm not trying to say it's muted, guys. You do have a ton of flavor in that, but it's just not what I would consider to be a flavor chaser. We got some other pros to talk about, of course, the drip tip. I'm in love with this drip tip. It's that really smaller, wide bore drip tip style, and it does fit on most of your other devices, which is great because I've actually been using it on a number of devices, including the TFE4. I've been using it on my crown tank. I've been using it on pretty much most of my RDAs, and it is definitely in the top three for my favorite drip tips right now. The only one I can think of that really compares to this, and it's a very similar style too, is the dot mod drip tip, which I am still in love with and I still use on a daily basis. All right, let's talk about one more thing on this actual top cap, and that is the fact that it does not do single coil builds. So if you're a single coil builder out there, there's only two airflow modes, which is basically closed or open. You cannot close one of the airflows off just to have one open. You are stuck with having the dual airflow. Now, is that a con to me? No, I don't usually build single coil builds. So for me, it's not a big deal at all. But if you are a single coil builder out there, just know that this top cap does not support single airflow that pretty much sums up the mini version. What do you say we talk about the Aeolus version or the original version and look at it, see how it performs and what the pros and cons of that one are. All right, so I've switched to the Aeolus version or the original version top cap now. Let's talk about some pros and cons really quickly, starting with the drip tip. This drip tip is a Teflon stainless steel drip tip and it is absolutely amazing. However, the reason why I don't rank it in my top three drip tips right now is simply because it only works on this top cap. It is a proprietary drip tip with threading on it so you cannot remove it and put it onto a different device. On top of the threading, it also has a spit back protection on it, which you saw in the up close version. And personally, I'm not really a huge fan of spit back protection because if you build your coils right, you really shouldn't be getting spit back in the first place. So with that, it's kind of a gimmick. It's kind of not. Some people are gonna use it, some people aren't gonna use it. Even with the spit back protection and me not usually being a fan of it, I do have to admit I really like this drip tip, even with everything I've just said. I just wish I could use it on other RDAs. Moving on from there, of course, we'll talk about the airflow in this. You do have four airflow slots all around the top, and that of course means that you're gonna have a ton of airflow in this. It's gonna hit the coils because of where it's situated. However, having four, I think, is a little bit overkill. Personally, I like the Aeolus version better where it had the two, it was just a little bit more flavor out of it, a little bit more of a restrictive draw. Now, if you do close off the airflow just a little bit on each of them, it does give you a little bit more of restriction and it means it's a much more flavorful vape. If you have them wide open, I would even say it's very comparable to the smaller version of this with the flavor in it. And in order to get the maximum flavor out of this, you will want to close it off just a little bit, just to get that little restrictiveness going and get that nice flavor coming up from this device. Now, of course, the top cap itself also has built-in splashback protection in the top cap portion of it, not just the drip tip. It's got this kind of spiderweb mesh of things that also attributes to the airflow as well. And the combination of the two, the airflow and the spitback protection on this does make for a great vape. Let's try it out right now and show you what it looks like. Again, good vapor production, good flavor. The airflow is just about, I would say roughly a quarter closed off. And I'm getting tons of flavor from it as well. Uh, but again, this top cap for me, I actually think out of the two, I prefer the smaller one. I don't know what it is about the smaller one, but I find I just get a really nice vape from it. A little bit warmer vape as well. So if you're into the warmer vapes, this is going to give you that. If you're into the kind of cooler or even lukewarm vape, I guess I'd call it, I would say that the Aeolus version top cap is probably going to be best for you. But here's the thing, guys. You have two different styles of vaping on one RDA, and of course, we've talked about vaping style a number of times on this channel, but we have two different vaping styles that this is targeted toward. You have your warmer vapors and you have your cooler vapors. And both of these come in the same package. So for only $30, you're getting a ton of accessories. You're getting an RDA suitable for two different vaping styles. And even if you only have one, this you still may use both top caps. I found myself using both quite a bit. Which one was my favorite? Well, my favorite person was a smaller one because you got a much warmer vape out of it. The large one, of course, it was a little bit cooler, even with the airflow closed off a bit, but you did get a little bit better flavor. Overall, both these devices are great and all, both these top caps are an excellent choice 
depending on your style of vaping. The build deck itself, apart from that one con of those negative posts being a little bit too far or too close to the top cap, I wish they would have moved them in just a touch, just a smidge, just to allow a little bit more room for those bigger builds. And if they would have done that, I think this would have been the perfect RDA all around in general. It would have had the great price point, a ton of features, two top caps for various vaping styles, and it would have had the capability of putting in those nice, complicated, complex builds that people are starting to do more and more these days. So overall, what are my thoughts on this device? Well, to be honest, the big question is, would I buy this? If I lost it today, would I buy it tomorrow? Absolutely. For $30, it's a steal. It is not a bad price, and for what you get, I think that the value is there, and the flavor between these two devices and the build quality of these is excellent. The materials you're using are top notch. Uh, I think it's 304 stainless steel, if I'm not mistaken. I actually have to check that. It actually is 304 stainless steel, so I was right. Um, I second guessed myself there. But yeah, so it is 304 stainless steel that they're using for this construction quality. Again, the drip tip is phenomenal. The Teflon drip tip, I love. I really wish it wasn't proprietary because I want to use it on all my devices. But because it is proprietary, it does limit my interest in the drip tip itself a little bit. Where this one, of course, is a standard size drip tip on the Mini. So, ultimately, there you go, guys. I recommend this for $30. I've, I'm going to try and look for some links to put in the description for, for where you can buy this device. But it is very hard to find right now. I think I found it on eBay. I believe there was one or two sites that was selling it, but I think they were both UK-based. Uh, it's been very difficult to find this device anywhere in Canada. And I think even in the States, it's going to be very difficult to find. Your best bet is probably going to be eBay, I think which I usually don't recommend doing because you never know if you're getting an authentic or a clone version. And to me, I really want this to be more widely available, especially at that price point, because the price point on this is phenomenal. Augvape is also coming out with an RTA, I believe, and it's looking awesome. It's got a glass uh, chimney so you can see your build. I believe it has velocity style build deck, but I could be wrong. Um, but again, it's going to be an amazing device. Hopefully I can get my hands on that for you guys to see and check out. I'm excited. I cannot wait to see a glass style chimney. I think that's an awesome idea and leave it to Augvape. I mean, if they come out with this, something tells me it's going to be an excellent value just like this one is. You're going to get a ton of stuff for a fair price and it's going to be great materials being used to build this. So with that being said, guys, let's end the review right there. Again, big thank you to Augvape for sending me this device for the purposes of review and thank you all for watching this. And of course, as always, YouTube, happy vaping.